What's up guys? See Bass Outdoors. What's up? I got Ono, Paulo. Hopefully catch some lake trout, some white fish, and some burbot. We're in a whole hop today. It's nice outside. Time to get fishing. It's about, uh, it's not even 7 a.m. yet. Sun's about to rise. They're gonna bike right now. All right, we're, so we just set up. Buddies are not too far. We're gonna see if they're here. I know that, that it's been a, a morning bite and then we're gonna hit a bunch of different flats and stuff like that later on during the day and you guys are good and join us. We want some bacon. We want some bacon. Let's go. We got the crew out. Yeah, we're gonna go see Paulo. I told him to set up a bit deeper because it's a flat. I'm on top of the shoal, but I've always had better luck there. So I told him to set up there, see what's up. Those shirts are sick. Got a couple left on Canadian Tackle Store. Get them Boy, what do you got on? I got the vibrato on here. Yeah. And I got the lady bass. Lady bass. Yeah. Bring your vibrato a bit higher, man. So your vibrato is your attractor, right? Yeah. You pound bottom and stuff like that. Yeah. I, how deep are you? 26? I leave mine like right right about there, maybe a, a bit higher. One? Yeah, because you make them commit coming off bottom, That's, right? That pretty much came in at 20 feet there, yeah. Yeah, and this one, when they come up to this one, I drop it on them. You have like a zoom option? This is zoomed in right now. This right here, sorry. But at bottom. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Right? And then this is taking the rest of it. You got the sauce. This house. One big one came to the top, dropped off, and then went, it came right on bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, the whiteys will do that too, eh? Fish out. Okay, it's a stock white fish, so I'm gonna keep my first white fish of the year, and more than likely, my only one. And we're gonna do a uh, catch and cook the way I like to cook my white fish. It's really good. That one was really aggressive. Perfect size. It's a stock white fish, as you can see. He's missing a fin here. So when they put him in a lake, they clip him. And if I were to go online right now on the MNR site, I could find out what year class this fish would be. So that kind of gives me an idea on how old it is. So we're gonna keep this fish. Uh, I'm not gonna show you this, but you gotta bleed them right away. Uh, it tastes much better. My buddy that passed away now did a test on that. And the fillet are much more white once you bleed them. So you gotta bleed them instantly. I also kill them instantly. I don't want them to suffer, but uh, that's one thing we forget in this world is uh, when we go to the meat market, we forget where our, our food comes from. That's that's food right here. So we're gonna eat them and fully use them. So we got Paulo here from Soldier Fishing. For you guys know him, he organized some sick tournaments in the summer, and he's got a clothing line too as well. Uh, so just gonna give him a brief deal because he doesn't ice fish as much as I do, so I'm gonna give him a quick ticket. So I got the drifter, you got the drifter on too, right? Yeah. What color? Don't matter. Uh, oh, give me it. Yeah, so, so I set it up like this. Than that. But the trick is, dude, as they come up, they won't eat it on the way up. They act like a lake trout, they're interested, and you, the, like my lip list right now is suspended at 15 feet below the bottom. Okay. They'll come up like a lake trout. I'll still pull it away, but if they go back down, they're more likely a whitefish. I'll drop this one on bottom. And once I know they're on it, I just tickle it like this. Just give it a little. And once you feel they're, they're, they're leaving, lift it up and pound it back on bottom. They're going to come back. But it's important that you just barely moving it like this. Just once in a while, check. Just basically the nose. Yeah. Because a whitefish, when it eats, it eats in, in place. Like, he'll go, the whitefish will come, he'll eat this and let go eat this okay. like you're not gonna feel like a he's not gonna run away with it or he's yeah. gonna stay there right I like trout too sometimes but important you just you just tap it on bottom you get a fish you think you, the, the the marks fading call him back he's just looking for your bait okay. yeah that's all I'm doing man basically that's what they're doing they're yeah. going up so, tonight so I'll go down like this so I'll go dude I'll set it up right here I won't even go on bottom 
Just leave it right down there. Yeah, and once they go do it, I go drop the bottom right away and they'll stick around. I feel like a foot above right now. Yeah, if that fish sticks around for like 10 seconds on your bait on bottom, he won't see. Yeah, exactly. He's there. He's just looking. You got to make it easy sometimes. Like, here's my bait. Yeah. Here's my bait. Sometimes I lift it off. So instead of jigging here, I lift it off bottom right here. And just, oh, okay. This. I got one on, bud. You got one on? Yeah. As soon as you left. <laughs> I got him right on the chin too, like he was going up. Tiny guy, that'd be a perfect guy to eat. Beautiful. Alright, he's good to go. We're going to release him right away. You guys seen Whitefish, a small one, four pounder. <laughs> so that guy ate on the way up and I'm using uh, just like I, I, Paulo just left the hut on the drifter. Of course, I got the sauce. It's all goopy still. That's the workout color. Really enjoy that color. I'm not worried. I'm gonna catch him on the drifter. He's around. He just bit. There's two of them. They're here to eat. Oh, oh, oh I had one of them. He had it in his mouth. He's coming, he's coming up for it. He's coming up for it. Oh, he just went down. There's three fish down there. And you know what's cool is my camera's rolling down there. They're back. Come on, bite it, buddy. I'm right here. Look, right here. So I showed him where I'm at. He's placing himself. Can't really see down the bottom. We're in 25 feet. Got him. Hey, there's another one down there. So I'm gonna try to. That's a good one too. I'm gonna try to get the other one. That'd be epic if I catch the other one. He's gone. There we go, guys. Thumbs up for this. Sea bass outdoors. And he's. Here he is. Oh, there's three of them down there. They're eating good today. They're very aggressive. Not very much. Boom. Nice whitey. Typical size for Lake Simcoe. I'd say four. Four close to, yeah, four pounds, maybe four and a half. He's ready to go. I just had him. He just bit. He's back. He bit again. He's on it. Got him. Fish on. Fighting me good too. I love those rods, man. Those rods are so sweet. So nice. They take all the abuse that these fish get. That fish is puking. It's trashing up the hole. Loosen my dry a little bit here. Give him some dry. There we go. Ooh, it's a good one too. Nat natural. Oh, look at the size of this white fish. Woohoo! That's a good one. All right, let's go. Short but fat. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. All right guys, time to make a move. We are uh, about uh, or late morning right now, it's 11 o'clock. We caught a bunch of fish, but wanna fish some other areas we haven't fished yet this year. Just gonna go poke around, see what's up. Time to move. Two 
blue murky down there. Here he is. He just bit. Bit again. Next bite, he's going to keep it in his mouth. Got him. There you go. There you go. Ooh, it's a long one. Good white fish, dude. Good day of fishing. We're nearing the double digits. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a very long fish. On the flatty jig head, uh, it's a very good jig head that Peter had set the hook designed. I mean, I've been using it for a while now. We've discussed a few things. We've updated it. He's put a really good hook on there. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, what the size of that one? That's a good one. <laughs> That'll be uh, taking a couple pictures of him outside. Oh, he's doing a tune. Look, so he's got it. I'll pegged on the side. Flatty jigged. That's a 1 8 ounce. It's available on CanadianTackleStore.com because everybody's going to ask me if I don't say that. So on CanadianTackleStore.com. And that's the Workout Drifter. Also available on CanadianTackleStore.com. I think both of them are on special right now. Got them out. My drifter's still good. That's why those jig heads are good. And uh, we're gonna release them, but we're gonna take a couple pictures with it. So here you go, it goes back where you came from. Boop. That's the restart button. Go, go. So just textbooks, as I told you guys. Of course I caught them on the drifter, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have attracted that fish around if I didn't have the Apex 100 in chrome in there. That's what he went after, just like a lake trout. He rose up 10 feet. He was interested in the chrome. It's also very too big for him. So once he forgot about the chrome, I started lifting, as you can see in the video, and I, that's how I caught that white fish. So little uh, trick, one-two punch. You know, attract them with the attractor and then nail them with the drifter. What's up, guys? It's the end of the day. Well, we, did, we fished half day. Just stop in on a couple holes. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the day. Uh, I'm trying my best to show you what we're doing, how we're catching them. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. That means the world to me. That's how you support me. Visit the CanadianTackleStore.com. That's where all my bait I've used today are there. Same with those uh, Sea Bass Outdoors rod that I've caught all the fish on. And don't forget to check part two where I show you how to cook white catch and cook of this video. This white fish, we're gonna cook it. We're gonna show you how I cook my white fish, how to clean and all that stuff. We'll see you guys on the ice soon. Let's go.